Hey guys, a lot of you will be uh, needing to make some cuts uh, coming up for some of the projects. Some of you actually have been doing this already, but um, I wanted to sort of demonstrate just cutting a, a eight inch concrete block that uh, a few months ago, I want to say it was back in December, I think I, I showed a few bricks uh, cutting them on here, but it was kind of a bad angle. You guys were behind me, my body blocked a lot of it. So I've rigged this up today so you can kind of look right over my shoulder and hopefully I won't be in your way at all, but you'll be able to see me basically cutting uh, an eight inch uh, jam block in half, used as a half. So remember you guys are gonna need to do this to make some jams uh, in, the, in the coming couple of weeks. So I feel like this will be pretty helpful, but I'll just give you a quick rundown now. Once I hit the button and give it some power, it's gonna sound like a jet engine in here and you're not gonna hear uh, much of anything. I won't be able to explain any of this when the saw is actually running. So what's gonna happen is I've already flipped the breaker. So this is actually live, there's power to the saw now. That's step one. Uh, I've got my safety equipment, which I will be wearing. I've got eye protection, I got hearing protection because of the noise. But when I'm ready to make this cut, I already have everything in place, I'm set up, I, so I did my, my run through already, the blade is lined up properly right where I need it, and I'm going to flip the valve for the water here, I'm just going to start firing water right onto the blade, it's going to lubricate it, it's going to make sure there's no dust in the air, you won't have to breathe any of that. I'm going to give the machine power, which you can't see the switch, but it's right, it's right here behind the blade, I'm going to give it power, that's going to actually begin the blade to spin. At that point, I'm gonna gently, using the roll table, I'm gonna feed this block right into the blade. All right, now I have the, the depth of this blade already set. All we're cutting through is about an inch, inch and a quarter of concrete block. So it's gonna go quicker than you think. That'll take it in half. You can see here, the roof of the cell, like that does not need to be cut, it's already separate. So once we're through this side, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna feed the other side in. That'll give us a completely cut through, clean cut. And um, it's gonna get a little wet, it's gonna get noisy, as I said, but all in all, it shouldn't take more than about two and a half minutes. So let's see how I do here. Get fitted up with my, uh, with my safety gear. Shake the dust out of my earmuffs. And here we go.
have a pretty nice looking cut here. You guys might be able to tell, you should be able to tell from this video. This blade is still spinning, okay? Even though I've killed the power, this is a very, very dangerous saw blade. So probably the most important thing we do here is wait until that blade is stopped spinning completely. And there we go. It's not safe to walk away from this table until that blade stops spinning. So, turn this away here. You can see I have kind of a nice clean cut. But it's a lot scarier sounding and looking than it actually is. What's safe about this stuff would be use any of the tools out in the shop. But there you have it. That's cutting up an eight inch concrete block in half. So I will see you guys soon. And I'm on my way to shut off the breaker. That would be our final step. After which we'll clean up the table. So.